It's almost time for the Academy to give another movie a shiny golden man and deem it the best. So we figured now was a good time to take a look back at some of the movies that the Academy called best picture that might not have been. These are the worst best picture winners of each decade. Usually considered the absolute worst best picture winner, the Broadway melody has a story that comes off as trite, characters with arcs that just aren't interesting, and a glaring lack of memorable musical numbers for a musical. Cimarron may have the honor of being the first Western to ever win, but aspects of it have aged like milk on top of it being just flat out boring. Going My Way is fine enough, a sweet and tender crowd pleaser with phenomenal performances, but it definitely wasn't a film that screams Oscar winner. The Greatest Show on Earth is not without merit, but its bloated melodramatic story, lack of interesting characters, and surprisingly overlong runtime have caused it to be remembered as one of the worst Best Picture winners of all time. Chaotic, disgustingly crude, and unbelievably horny, Tom Jones may have something to offer for those that enjoy weird adventure comedies, but really nothing of value for anyone outside of that very specific niche. Patton is an incredible achievement and the weakest Best Picture winner of its decade only because it happened to be released during America's cinematic golden age. Out of Africa is easily the most forgettable pick the Academy made in the 1980s, as it may be one of the most boring films to ever win. Shakespeare in Love mostly gets hate as a Best Picture winner because it somehow beat Saving Private Ryan. Still don't understand that. Crash has a few emotionally powerful moments, but it's all brought down by a lackluster screenplay, forgettable performances, and heavy-handed themes that offer takes on racism and prejudice that are questionable at best. Argo isn't a bad movie, it's just woefully unexceptional in basically every regard, including being not nearly as historically accurate as it would like you to believe. And finally, Nomadland is a fantastic film that makes its way onto this list purely because the only other winners of this decade are Coda and Everything Everywhere All at Once and something had to be here.